Hey, Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps with Boxing Social in partnership with Forged Irish Stout, FreeBets.com, Ready to Fight, and Empire Fight Store. And I'm joined now with the one and only, the legend himself, Bob Arum. Bob, thank you for your time. Honestly, you're one of the best people to interview because you stick around and you always have a lot to say, so we appreciate you. Well, good. <laughs> Many years ago, they said, I just ran from the mouth. Now they say, thank you, because you got a lot to say. So that's the advantage of getting old. No, no, honestly, we appreciate you. It's great. Um, so much going on this week, and I know you've probably been asked 20 times fold um, in regards to the atypical finding um, that Eddie clearly is a little uncomfortable with, although it is, to be clear, atypical is not a... Um, an a adverse, sorry, an adverse finding. To be to make that clear, what are your thoughts are on all of it? Eddie is despicable to have raised this issue when Vada, which is the premier drug testing organization in the world, mm. has made it plain what happened. Atypical means that uh, something. A trace is found in your blood or urine which can come from something that the body produces. And further tests will determine whether it's from your body or from a substance that you're taking. And subsequent tests, as Margaret Goodman, Dr. Margaret Goodman has said, shows that he took no illegal substance mm. and that the uh, traces uh, were something manufactured by the body, which happens all the time. Uh, read Kevin Ioli's article because it explains it all. We sent Eddie that article. We've had him, told him to talk to Margaret Goodman mm. and he refused. Instead, he wants to make a big issue because he likes uh, to make trouble and take center stage. But it's a non-issue. Okay. We do know, exciting news is, that it should better be, be successful on the night. We do have the Bivol fight lined up. Um, what has it been like for you, know, you and your team to be able to um, sort of facilitate making this fight over in Saudi Arabia? We're hearing sometime in March-ish. Well, first of all, it won't be in March-ish. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen then. Okay. Uh, and secondly, we haven't, I haven't talked to Betabioff about that fight. I think he's willing to do it. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to uh, His Excellency. Oh, so to, nothing's final? Uh, nothing's even talked about oh, wow. on our side. Okay, because it's being reported that the fight is a done deal if... Obviously, he should be successful on Saturday night. Not even close. Okay. Now, will the fight happen? Probably. But I have to talk to His Excellency, uh, Turkey Al Al Sheikh, mm -hmm. and I have to talk to the Better Biaf and his people and determine on what terms it will be, when it will be. Mm -hmm. None of that has been discussed. Better Biaf has a tough fight on his plate, and nobody wants to distract him at this point. Okay. Um, any update on Josh Taylor and, and when we can anticipate that he's going to be out again? Um, obviously, there's the fight with Jack Catterall that a lot of people would like to see again. Well, I think we like everybody would like to see it. And uh, our people are working on uh, Josh's next fight. Mm -hmm. And when, we, when it's done, we'll have an announcement. Do you anticipate it'll be in, within springtime? Well, it ain't going to be in the winter. I'm not going to gonna go in cold weather like this again. <laughs> it is pretty brutal outside, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know what brutal is the word, but I, I prefer, you know, a warmer climate. Right, right. I, I agree with that. Um, Teofimo Lopez obviously has a, a good fight coming up against Jermaine Ortiz, a Super Bowl week. That must be really exciting, obviously, given that Super Bowl and all of the the events and, and, the, and the, the cameras and the media that's going to be in attendance. Yeah, well, that's it's great for boxing. Mm -hmm. uh, just the way it was great 
linking up uh, um, uh, Shakur's last fight with Formula One, linking up Teofimo's fight uh, with the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, there's more uh, uh, press in town, there's more excitement. So I think it's all to the good. I just did an interview with Teofimo um, a few days ago, and he had a lot to say about Terrence Crawford. He even called him out. What do you make of him wanting to take a, a fight with Terrence Crawford at 147? Well, you know, that, let, let him beat Jermaine Ortiz first, and then we'll see. Mm -hmm. If that's what he wants and that can happen, I, I'm not against it. But again, one step at a time. You can't keep looking ahead. Mm -hmm. You got, you know, February 8th uh, is a month away. Let's see what happens on February 8th. Okay. And Inouye versus Neri, um, any any status on that? Well, you know, when, when everything is signed and sealed, mm -hmm. uh, Ohashi, the Japanese promoter, our co-promoter, will make the announcement. And, you know, I'm not going to jump the gun uh, and I'll wait for uh, Ohashi-san uh, to announce. Uh, but I'm optimistic that the fight can happen. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to know where it would take place? Because from my understanding, Neri has been banned from fighting in Japan. No, that it'll take place in Japan. It will. If it happens, it'll yeah. take place in Japan. Okay. All right, Bob, well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Um, any final words? Anything else you'd like to say? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Thank you again. Bye-bye, fans. <laughs>